session one night and uh, figured I'd better stop by Radio Shack and get a beeper, you know, just in case someone wanted to hire a trombone. Sure. There you go. And the only parking space was a handicap, so, you know, I put my trombone case on the dashboard like they tell you to do. And I went in, <laughs> came out. Thanks, man. It didn't work well. The windows were smashed, three more trombones in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a quartet. Thanks. Actually, Steve Leonard uh, got in touch with me uh, at a jam session once and asked if I was interested in doing a trombone quartet. I had I had uh, never done anything like it before, so um, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to give it a shot. Uh, contacted me about getting together with the group and that somebody had a lot of quartets so they wanted to get together and try them out and I had quite a few arrangements of that so uh, that kind of brought everybody together. We wanted to play. <laughs> Home on the range, which That's is right. you know that is uh, you know I just picture the cowboys out there roping yeah. their cattle with their trombones strapped to the saddle. <laughs> very very physical in a lot of ways. Not just uh, it's can be a fairly heavy instrument, especially the bass trombone, uh, to hold for a long time. There's a slide movement with your right hand, but there's also a tremendous amount of deep breathing going on. Yeah. 